Looking for something salty? Salty fish are so pretty. There's bang guys. Those are big. Huh? There's bang guys though. Those are pajamas. Yeah. And they look so cute in their little pajamas. Yeah, these ones are better. Though. These are better. The traditional ones. No, the, the, the pajamas are more common than these guys. Oh. Well, I, I thought these ones were the traditional in ones. In my opinion. Ooh. I like it. Pretty. Very, very bright. Yeah, he's gorgeous. He's the yellow angel. Look at you! Ready to clean something up. To the next. All of this. I would stick away from, stay away from this stuff, and you probably wouldn't do well with the, uh, our water just doesn't do well with, um, whatchamacallit. Look at that javelin one for in the back, that big piece. You get the tree for the shrimp <laughs> and then have that for a different tank. I don't I didn't do what I said I was gonna do and get ideas. I need to just buy stuff and just use whatever I get. Yeah. Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Yeah. These plants. We gotta look at the roots when it comes to this, because some of them might not that be that great. Do you want more moss? More types of moss? This is spiky. Yeah, I like the spiky. Well why don't you just buy all the spiky and put it on and then just set it in the shrimp tank? I'm thinking that I could put this one maybe for the ropes and they could swim through the holes and stuff in it. This for the shrimp and add some of this moss to it. What else? Those go together. Mm. 
They're peaceful. They're live bears. Breed just as fast as a uh... puppy. Yeah. Kind of like this one. Yeah. You want it? I'll get it for one tank. Yeah. Okay, make sure it's sunset gold. Sunset gold. When I bought substrate for the gallery, it came in massive boxes. That's a piranha. Alrighty, you guys. What we got, what I got at the fish stores today, were some nets. This piece of wood, along with. This piece of wood, and look, it has like lots of crevices and holes and stuff for them to swim through and whatnot. It's really cool. And they match so they can go together if I so desire. Also, got this little bonsai tree piece of wood to attach moss that I got to. I'll show you. And it's gonna go in the shrimp tank got four of these little cups of this little spiky moss taxi film spiky moss it literally says spiky in little quotation so that's cute and I think it'll look cute like in little clumps on top of the tree so we'll see how we do with that but maybe it would be cool if I glued that spiky grass to the bottom and then put the other kind of moss that we already have on, on the top and have those spiky ones that stick up like as the grass and then the other ones fluffier. As, we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. I'm very overwhelmed with it all because I've never really done this really. Set up tanks for serious. So it's a lot for me to take in. Then I also got, I think it's java fern, a couple of clumps of that. And I don't know what this one was called, but Joey thinks that it will grow in our water here. And then I think some other ones to test. I'm literally gonna put these in the 20 gallon cube that's empty that you guys are sitting on currently. While I film this, I'm gonna just float them in there, like so have them in there until I decide where I'm gonna put them. And another clump of the java fern or moth. No, java, java fern, java, whatever it's called. And then some Anubias as well. Then I also got more guppies. They had some really nice ones and I just have them over here floating. Got these pretty ones. And then I got these blue elephant ear or blue mosaic I don't really know the professional names for them but they're just both super pretty so I have them floating in the current guppy tank here with the fry but I ended up moving the fry over to one of the empty betta sections on betta island and this is a male only guppy tank at the moment until the fry grow out more and these guys are quarantined completely that is all I ended up buying on this shopping trip though. Oh, and some substrate, but it's still out in the gallery. I just temporarily dropped the box off out there and I just didn't have an arm to grab it with and I didn't want to make another trip. So it's out there for now, but it's just some golden sunset colored substrate, I think is what it was called. And that was the only things that I got today. Just like, I am so unsure and so underprepared when I go to these stores to buy scaping supplies because I don't just don't really know what I'm doing yet with the tanks and I feel like I just need to sort of get stuff and set them up like sort of as I have stuff and I'll just figure it out from there and set the tanks up like one by one one at a time type of thing so I'm sure I'll figure it out hopefully they won't be ugly I'm just gonna put these plants in here like I said for now, temporarily. And I'll put these little cup ones in the fridge. Nubius. Got two little blobs of that. 
Got a couple of this one. I'm not sure the name of it. We just got them to try in the water here to see if they can grow here. But it's quite pretty. It's got some reds and greens in the leaves. As well as a couple of this. And again, I'm unsure of the name of this. It's kind of a cool, fluffy little leafy plant. Ready? A couple of that one. And then the java fern. Just three little carpets of it. So that's nice to have some plants. They look pretty. Hopefully I can keep them alive. There's two more carpets in here. I just dumped the little bit of water on my leg and foot. plant tank. Kind of looks, kind of looks pretty. Oh, also fluffy, pretty, leafy plants. And we'll add these to their tank. Proof that Joey cooks sometimes too. He's cooking us homemade burgers for supper. Everyone thinks he never cooks, but he's the one who taught me how to cook most of the things that I cook. Because I was raised by women, and I had to learn how to cook and clean and sew. <laughs> Plus, I was the man of the house, so I had to protect everybody. I do cook. I cook the good meals. I'm just, actually, <laughs> you do too, but I just like to uh, cook meat, meat stuff. He has to once in a while so he doesn't forget how. <laughs> yeah, so tonight I'm just going to make some hamburgers. It's just hamburger meat some grated cheese and some onions and some garlic and some different spices salt and pepper Montreal steak then you have a really nice seasoned burger oh and an egg as a binder mmm ready to eat with a spoon did you already have a burger Luke? yeah I made you a burger buddy you already had yours now he wants mine he forgets he doesn't forget, he's just a bottomless pit. I didn't get to get a final product of mine because I scarfed it down, but... It's dark in here. It's delicious. Yes. And now for the cookies that I have success with every time. 